In this short video, we will learn about how to create the scroll bar and how to create the spin button. They are useful in creating financial models and what if analysis. First, you go to file option. Next, you go to options. Next, you go to customize ribbon and ensure that you are able to activate the developer tab. Once that is done, you can click on OK. Now, when you go to developer tab, there will be a section called insert. And there is a subsection called form controls. Amongst the two lines of icons that you see, the fourth from the first line is called spin button. And the third from the second line is called scroll bar. Avoid ActiveX controls for now. Now, how do you create this? Let's see. First, go to insert. Let's pick up the spin button. Click on it. Draw one on the Excel sheet. Next, let's put life into it by configuring it. Right click, format, control. Now it asks me to refer to the cell link which it should be controlling. Let me choose this cell which is called C12. Let me put the minimum as 5, maximum as 100 and let the incremental change be 5 for now. If I make those changes and click on OK, this button is still not active. You'll have to deselect the button and click outside to make this button go live. Noticed? Every click is increasing the number by 5 because the incremental change was 5. Similarly, I can create a scroll bar. How? Go to developer tab, go to insert tab. From the second row of form controls, you'll find the third icon specifying scroll bar. You can draw one horizontal or you can draw a vertical one. Either ways, after drawing, you'll have to ensure that you right click, go to format control, next, specify a cell link, in my case C15. Minimum value could be 5, maximum could be 100, incremental change could be 5. Now, there's an extra one which is called page change and we'll see very soon what it does. As of now, let me press on OK, click outside the button, and this button is live. If you click in the middle of this button, it changes by 10, and that's exactly what page change was. You can right click on the button and cut to be able to delete it. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it, you will never learn. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below? You're one click away from learning new technology. So why don't you subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.